YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer. Back with Galbraith 2003. Um, I'm trying to uh, just record a couple more episodes of this up until we do the 2004 live stream, which I'm still going to do um, again within a week that this video is uploaded as well, because this was kind of in the previous uh, se uh, session. Excuse me. Um, it's just been super, super, super busy. If I sound out of if I sound like I'm tired, I am. A uh, really long day. Uh, really long workout as well. Longest workout I've actually had since like 2021. And um, yeah, I'm pretty tired, but I'm going to try to um, instill some enthusiasm into today's episode. So we have all the girls ready to rock and roll. It's a new year. Year 44 in this game. Thank you guys for the love and support, as always. Um, 2004 will be back. I just, I, I, I always know when there's... Uh, an obvious kind of um, dip in things and when 2004 needs to come back. It's just, again, I want to live stream. And the reason why I'm waiting is because instead of just doing a one or two hour episode or one or two hour live stream, which is usually what I do when I'm not playing 2004, I would like to do a four hour live stream, give you guys something more to, uh, to hang out with. Um, so in the comment section below, I should say, let me know what days and times works best for you. Of course, we're from all over the world, so I can't obviously appeal to everybody's slots, but I can try to come up with a time that benefits at least the majority. And, um, you know, that's kind of what we got to do. I mean, I used to watch streamers that streamed at like 6 a.m. my time. <laughs> So I either had to stay up all night to watch them, you know, every now and then, or I just had to wake up really early. So that's just kind of what you got to do because we're just, again, all in different parts of the world. And yeah, it'd be nicer if we were all in the same time zone, but it, you know, we're, we're not, unfortunately. So if I could control that, I would trust me. So uh, like I said, I want to make sure that we can do that 2004 live stream because you guys have a lot of input. A lot of your horses are going to be debuting. So I, I want that to be special. Um, and I want you guys to be a part of it, and I want us to have that live interaction. So, um, from the time this video goes live, which will probably be, I think, Monday, I'm hoping, I'm aiming for Monday, then um, the live stream will be at the end of the week, which is kind of when I expected it to be anyways, because I'll still have a very busy work week, but during the weekends, I should be a lot more free. So, on the weekends, just kind of let me know what time works between Saturday and Sunday. Ready for combat. First race up. She is not the favorite, but... It's expected. I think she has a lot. Uh, lo what? It's an hour away from 2 a.m., so there we go. Getting a great start off to the episode as always. A lot. What? She has a, uh, I was going to say a long and a late growth type, so that's where the lot came from. Um, how long? I, th I think it's only been a week since I played. It feels like two weeks, but um, as far as concurrently. Yeah, she's from Crimson Art and Frugal Lars, so we know she has a late growth type. So she's not going to start peaking for another two years. Um, her top heavy stats are looking good as far as speed, staying, stamina, speed, staying, stamina, and power. I feel like I said the same thing twice. Um, power's not great, though. I think it'll only be mid-60s. Good response rating. Health isn't that great. Guts is okay, but that hopefully that will also kind of be in the 70s. So um, True dirt horse, and I expect great things from her once she really starts to show her true potential. Gosh. Well, here we go. Kentucky Derby season is in full effect almost, isn't it? Florida Derby coming up pretty soon. Forte. I just feel like every Derby, we have these horses that like everybody is like, oh, this horse is going to win the Derby, and that horse doesn't end up winning the Derby. I feel like that's happened the last two or three Kentucky Derbies, so... I like Forte. I think he's a really strong horse. I think he has a better chance, maybe, compared to the last couple of uh, supposed favorites heading into the Derby. I like his profile, but still, it's 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 a wild card, man. All it takes is one horse to have a rich strike type of trip or just the right trip at the right time, and the favorite could end up losing. Like it, We've seen it happen the last couple of years, so, you know, we'll see. Now let's see. We're not supposed to finish anywhere near the top five. And let's see how ready for combat fight. She's doing well, as she always has uh, shown us in her first two races. So she continues to fight. Stamina's going to drop. But again, is that the rest of the field coming? Is that going to be a top five? It's fifth or sixth. It might be a top five. 
And it is, so that's good. We weren't supposed to finish anywhere near there. That's all I can do with her. Slow and steady with these horses, man. Slow and steady. I did not get her into position. I definitely was um, sleeping there at that race, but I will double down and make sure to get my horses in position from this point onward. I don't have a clear favorite in the Derby yet. I usually don't know who I'm going to really kind of pick as far as that's concerned. Probably until like the last two weeks before the Derby. We just passed mid-April. The Derby is still technically six weeks away. So still plenty of time. America's Dream has raw talent. Gee, thank you. I had no idea. Uh, we're going to do Entrust. I'm not even going to mess around with anything else today. Just Entrust. I think we can have done better. Like, yeah, of course. So it's going to take her a while to really start peaking. And the good thing is we are doing way better than where we're supposed to be. Uh, she finished sixth in her first grade one on the dirt against tough competition. She's supposed to finish last. Second race, she finished second placed in another grade one when she was supposed to finish eighth. And in the last race, we just ran in an open. She was supposed to finish eighth, um, but I'll ran fifth. And again, I think if I would have had her in a better position, that probably could have worked out a little bit better. So, gosh, imagine if I could win a grade one with her at this level. That'd be incredible. But you know what? Let's keep her in the opens. I need to try to get her a win, stack some momentum, and we'll see how she's looking. So, actually, I forgot. Per tradition. But I wanted to at least get a race done. I noticed sometimes the episodes start a little bit slower when I'm watching them back. Because, like, I take, like, 10 to 15 minutes to get into a race. Because I'm doing everything else. Uh, let's look at the foals. So this is King Lark. Guy's already four stars. He's not, even a fi he's not even a year old yet. The game considers him a year. But remember, he's born technically two months. So he's, like, ten months old? And twin son, out of Frugal Lark. You see the pedigree. We've talked about it in the last couple of episodes. Matt Courage, Honeybee, Crimson Art, Scotch Dancer. Dude is going to be a monster. I'm so excited for King Lark. I, I just, I'm so, so, so excited. I mean, that's a serious pedigree he's got. Is he the only one that we have? Yeah, he is. Because I forgot, we're, um, we're maxed out on horses, so no breeding this year. Um, oh, yeah, because Frugal Lark, uh, another one. Which, who did I do? Upcoming fall, Electric Arrow and Frugal Arc. It's just going to get better and better, man. It's just going to get better and better. So excited. So again, still trying to make progress in this game. I want us to get to where we are in 2004. Obviously in this game. We're not quite there yet still. Like, just, they're coming. Toxic Waters was really the first of our super horses. And, you know, we're, uh, we're steadily getting there. I want that to be a regular thing, so... Back again with Ready for Combat. She is one of three fillies in this field of 14. Not good odds, as expected, but our goal is just to do better than what we're supposed to finish. Kind of weird. Like, she had... I don't... Well, I'm curious, actually, I should say. I'm curious if putting her in a grade one would give her a better chance. Ah, oh, gosh. Remember last episode, I was, like, really good with my starts, and now I'm just, like, off the pace? Like, this is not going to help for her positioning. It's not going to help at all. Don't tell me bad position. Just, gosh, let me get to the front somehow, some way. Go, go, my girl. Push, push, push. She doesn't really want to push, and there's no gap for us. Okay, she's okay here. I got to get a better start. Her temper is kind of messing with us, so that's a little bit concerning. But, um... I mean, it's pretty bad. I just wish it was a little bit slower, and I think I could time it a, b a bit better, but... Oh, gosh. Everybody is, like, clumped together, and there's no space. I, this is... I mean, it's my fault for missing the start, but, like, the spacing is just not here. What, what do they want me to do? I guess this is what they want me to do. Okay, let's go. Uh, she's going backwards, ain't she? Yep. That's it. Man, the bad starts are really hurting her. I was... Paying attention that time, I just got a I got a worse start than the first race. So, ah oh, man, yeah, it's gonna be it. Not ideal, not an ideal start at all. I I have to get her out well. She is, she doesn't uh, get up to the front fast enough after a bad start. That's really quite detrimental. So, <sighs> no need to panic. This is we've gone through these phases with 
Horses from Crimson Art. We went through the same with Perfect Art and Honeybee. Um, I just need to figure out how to get better starts with her. One Lady Miracle, though. She is the third favorite here in this grade, too. And she doesn't have any grade ones to her name yet, but we are going to try to change that here soon. Uh, oh, I lied. She does have three grade ones. I was looking at something else in my notes. Completely unrelated. So, yeah, she has three grade ones to her name. All at 12 furlongs. I'm getting her ready for her campaign. Try her out in GWS again since she is four years old. We tried her last year. I don't think it, she was ready. So we certainly have a chance. Obviously, I'm going to go for the win. Now, she, on the other hand, should have a decent temper. And 50. It's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not what, you know, um, ready for combat's temper is. Kind of forgot she had a bad temper. Well, that's what I mean. If it's at least that slow, that's okay. And One Lady Miracle is mid-runner anyway, so it's not even like I have to get a good start. It's always the horses that need to be at the front that end up having, like, the worst tempers for me. <laughs> as far as, like, some of my originals in this game, you know? It's rare that we get one with a great temper. But uh, we'll be breeding that out over the years. So That's what I'm saying. There's still work to do in this game. I know it may seem a little slow, even though we're finally picking up with getting better quality horses. But again... We're limited because of, one, all of our horses have late growth types for the most part. So it takes them a couple of years to get to their peak. And then, two, we're limited, of course, with the amount of horses we can have. So I can only make so much progress. 2004, you can have 20 horses racing in one year if you want. And it's so much going on, I think it keeps things a lot more fresh. And, um, you know, not, not as just kind of monotonous, right? But um, we're not going to get to that point if I don't play, so I have to play. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if I can string this together. Most you races with ready for combat are just kind of like whatever races. This is a real test here. Oh, I don't like the spacing. I don't like the spacing. I'm just squeezed in here. Know what this is going to do. Um, Actually, yeah. Yep, let's go. Yep, right there. Come on, my girl. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, here's the grind from One Lady Miracle. This is what I love about this filly. Gosh, she's such a great furlong closer, man. That's exactly what we needed. I was patient, and she gets it done. Running away with it. Her endurance is really nice. I never really have to feel like we're going to tire out with her. As long as I hold her a bit at the right time, she can really explode. And that's We've seen that in all of her races. Yes. That is awesome. So happy for her. From Social Brandy, out of Suave Master, if you have forgotten. Endurance, future endurance champion. I said we needed to win that. We get the win. You see the difference when, you know, you're working with a horse like ready for combat who is as green as grass. And one lady miracle who is three grade ones into her endurance career and hopefully a GWS turf champion this season. That's exactly what we needed. It's ready for combat. I don't even know what to do with you because, like, winning open seems to be, like, harder. Granted, we haven't won any races. I guess what I'm saying is trying to win a open. An open seems to be, um, yeah, more difficult. But, like, they're the perfect races popping up for her. But, like, what else am I going to put her in, right? Just got to just try to get a good start. That will change, I think, a lot of things for her. So let's see how she's developing One Lady Miracle. Um, I mean, that power rating is fantastic. I love that it's almost close to 90 with 81 guts. Her stamina rating isn't even that high, but she feels like she has that endurance, and I've talked about it before. A lot of that has contributed, to, you know, is, is a, it's because of her power rating, obviously. That's what's contributing what she's saying i'm all over the place but that's as expected because again we're 45 minutes away from 2 a.m and i am more tired than i've been in a while it's just part of the territory you guys already know the deal regardless um what's next for her grade one if we can get one heaven i wonder if she can run this 8.8 it's kind of a sprint i think it'd be a good race runner in dubai See how she handles it? Could run her in Toronto. It's a real test. 15 furlongs. Is there anything special for this race, though? No. 
Um, I kind of want to run her in that grade 2 and divide. It's a pretty high-staked race. Let's see how she can handle that. Or I can run her in the Jacksonville 12 and a half. This is more ideal for her, but... This is a pretty tough race. If she can handle herself well, I think that'd be a good tune-up heading into the spring. So Frugal Arts Foal is going to be born, like... Now? No. Month after? You recommend heart training. Uh, that's cool. I don't really care. I'm going to do in trust. So, haha. -ha. <laughs> uh, April. I always forget it's April in this month. You breed in March and then in April. Duh. I do forget as much as I played this game. I don't know why. It's the only game I forget the breeding months. <laughs> All right, One Lady Miracle. She's up again. Still decent odds. Uh, fourth favorite? Yeah, fourth favorite. So behind Scott Show, Velvet Apollo, Special Song, and yeah, that's it. Always Blair is up there. I mean, she can beat these horses. I'm, I'm not really intimidated. I know Velvet Apollo is a good horse. So is Scott Show, the favorite. But on our best day, if I run her right, we can win this race. So it's obviously the goal. Still developing, power rating, just jumped up a point, and speed and staying. So she's still developing, which is fantastic. I just have her on balance training for now. She'll be great as a broodmare with the exception of the field rating because she's great on turf and she's okay on dirt. So we're going to get a little bit of flexibility in there for her future foals. So, and she has, you know, abilities that I like. Spurt, stretch burst, fast pace, okay. Impost, not good. Whatever, they don't really give us impost anyway. So now we are a little bit inside here not an ideal start but again she doesn't need a great one it's like why is that the case with my horses in this game the horses i don't need a good start with end up being like mid runners or closers and the horses i need fantastic starts with have terrible terrible tempers which makes it virtually impossible for me to get good starts unless i'm just getting lucky with my timing sometimes i'm on it and sometimes i'm not now i would like to go to the rail if i can I don't know if it'll open up for us. Um, what is going on here? Uh, oh, that's kind of annoying. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. She's in a pretty good range here. Probably be recording this in a couple of parts. Um... Just kind of be prepared for that. Okay, I think I have to get her going now. Let's go. Now, is that Scott Show up there? It's Velvet Apollo? No, that's Scott Show. And only one art. It's the lead. Okay, there's Stretch Burst. I'm like, when is it going to kick? Oh, she can win this race, guys. She's closing. She's closing. She's closing. Oh, I overwhipped. I overwhipped again. I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, that was That was a win. She had plenty of stamina. I really need to get her going maybe a tad bit sooner. Like, her stamina is only at 66, but, like, she... That power rating seems to give her, like... <laughs> it seems like 75 plus 80 stamina, but... Finishes third. That could have been a win, but... Most importantly, she showed how well she can run in that type of race, so I think she can win the GWS this year. So I'm excited for that, for her. Definitely should have been the win. This is a uh, Pale Reef. We haven't raced with her in a while. She's still kicking butt. 12 grade ones to her name. She is the favorite here in this Climax S, as she should be. She can't be beaten. And you see her stat. She is still so competitive as a five year old mare. What's a sustained growth type? Great on the turf, good on the dirt. What more can you ask for? Like, she's really such a fun horse in this game, man. I've been saying it for a while, and. It's amazing. So just a random tidbit of what I've been doing, at least when I've had some free time, when I haven't been recording Gallup Racer. I've been playing Mass Effect Andromeda. You guys know I'm huge into sci-fi and space type of um, games. I mean, I like space in general. Um, game is so fun. I'm, I was thinking about live streaming it on the new channel. Tossy Waters with the record here, I forgot. He did set that, I think, what, two years ago? You see, like, why can't I do that with with Ready for Combat, man? And look, look at her leg type. She doesn't even need it. This is what I mean. 
I can get great starts on horses that don't even need to be near the front. It's kind of infuriating. Okay, I need the rest of the field to get going here before she gets upset because we're running too slow. Come on, get going, please. Jeez, oh man. Thank goodness she has a pretty solid um, focus as far as her temper is concerned, so she's not going to go crazy or anything, but you still don't want to take the chance. But yeah, I've been playing Mass Effect Andromeda. Um, that's a game series that, like, one of my best friends, and I, like, since I was, we were growing up, middle school, used to play, and I never really appreciated it. And now, all the games I didn't really appreciate when I was younger, I love them now. Mass Effect, uh, Oblivion, Skyrim series, those games, I, I guess I just didn't have the patience, and I, it just wasn't what I wanted to play at that time. But now, as I've gotten older, I appreciate those games so much. I love the story. I love the open world. Um, versatility. Like, that's so fun for me. Open world games are the best, man. You know, and then the fact that you make decisions that obviously change the outcome of your relationships with different characters and some aspects of the story. Like, I've really been enjoying it. So I kind of would like to live stream to show you guys what I'm really, really about. Those type of games are really like, you know, the cream of the crop for me. She has so much stamina, bro. She's gone. This race is over. It's over. It's over. Look at her. And that staying power. Look at the speed, man. <laughs> that meter doesn't move until half a furlong. Pale Reef is insane, man. I love this filly. So, well, mare. Now, I should say. She still runs like she's a filly, right? <laughs> she's so strong. So powerful. Another grade one win. Easy money. That's her 13th grade one win for Pale Reef. Yes! Man, what a horse. She is, she's amazing. It's just, and she's a closer. I mean, I run her as a mid runner because, like, I'd rather keep her a little bit closer to the front, but, like, she's basically a closer. And she just, she takes off, man. And she's able to keep that speed. That staying is so essential for her domination. There she is, your Climax S winner, Pale Reef, once again, 13th in her career. Six-length winner of a Naked Shark. The girl can do no wrong. The girl can do no wrong. Gotta love it, man. Got to love it. Maybe we have another race, don't we? I hope it's ready for combat. I really need to try to redeem myself with her. We've been in a dry spell the last two races, and I'm not for it. But a decent week there in Dubai. First and third. We'll take it. Long champ. I totally forgot she needed that for the long champ title. I totally forgot. Let's go. Yes, sir. Long champ title winner for Pale Reef. The girl can do no wrong. That's her. I don't even. I don't know where she's at. I do this all the time. Stats. Because, like, in 2004, you just click on file and it shows you everything. Still will never understand why they made these games so different one year apart. But, you know. Five titles. Mid-champ, long-champ, horse of the year, all-rounder, GWS turf. Too bad she can't win the sprint. But, like, she's not... She, it's so weird because her stats, to me, put her in a position to win sprints. But, like, I tried it and just... It, we I've struggled. So what other title should I go for now? I'm thinking about it. Um, what else could we do with her? Uh, I'm blanking on titles right now. Uh, gosh. I could just try to win as many great ones with her as possible. That would also be fun. Because she's such a, she's so enjoyable. Like, she's a horse I could run with until the game takes her away. But, you know, I usually don't do that. But I'm just saying I could. No, like, I mean, can't do that. Ten and a half? She's, ah, oh, she's got, mile, mile champ, right? We could try a mile champ title. Regal S, there we go. All right. It's one furlong below her normal. That's fine. She should be able to handle that. One Lady Miracle, you are up for the second cup. Your GWS campaign starts now. And we got to get good points. We just need to try to be consistent. If we can do that, I think we'll be okay. Let's do a quick save because... You guys remember a couple episodes ago, 2001 froze on me. Now, it ended up working out for the better. It actually made the second part of the episode a lot better and put us on a better trajectory. 
I still don't want to have it happen, so I'm going to say periodically when I remember. All right, let's race. Let's race. Um, ready for combat. Wow, better odds today for some reason. She's like the third favorite. Why? Okay. I'd like to know what that's about, but apparently they're not really going to share it with me, so that's okay. Here we go. I actually really focused on that one. Like, do I have to do that every time with her? Like, I, I'm not really in that mood right now. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you guys. It's a little bit of a lazy mood. Like, I obviously want to do well, but like, I really had to focus there. <sighs> what am I saying? It, it's not that much of it. It's not that much of a task. I'm just being lazy. I do really hate that her temper is that bad, though. It, it, it'd be nice if it wasn't, but. I always forget Frugal Lark has a bad temper rating, even though she never gave me problems on the track. I forget it about her all the time in every game. And then I'm like, ah, oh, why do these horses have a bad temper? And then I forget. It's because of her mother, Frugal Lark, but again, she never gave me issues, so I don't know why I kind of had a southern thing. She never gave me issues. It's just that type of night, people. It's just that type of night. Now you see, we're in good position here. We can actually strike and make something happen. Is that a coincidence? They give me third place projected finish and now we get a good start? Like, is that the game trolling me? Of course you're going to do that. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, that... This game is... Hmm. Yeah, the one time they give me third projected odds, then we get a perfect start and a revolution? Like, some... I swear, sometimes I feel like the game is... It's weird, man. I don't know. Like, do you guys know what I mean? Like, <laughs> if she would have had the odds of like finishing 14th, would all of that have happened that way? She gets her first win on the dirt. Finally, let's go. Long overdue, really, but I'm I'm happy. It's a good win. Let's try to build on that momentum going forward. But that seems coincidental, does it not? Oh yeah, you're supposed to finish third. Okay, I get a perfect start. Double, like almost a perfect race like <laughs> that seems so weird to me man i'm not ungrateful it's just like i think it's only because of the odds thing which still doesn't mean a whole lot i, I talk about that all the time like it can say third or fifth or twelfth and you know we end up finishing wherever but come on you can't lie that's just a little bit fishy ain't it horse is making steady progress gee thank you i had no idea electric arrow and frugal lark Wow. Shocker. <laughs> and speaking, well, no. Uh, that horse, uh, America's Dream, not from. <sighs> I'm all over the place. That horse, um, America's Dream is from Social Brandy and Frugal Lark. Again, same thing. Literally same thing. It's, now the game is just spoiling us with the girls. It's another Philly. Is that how the RNG works in this game? Like, my game is so weird. Like, it just wanted to give us Colts for basically 20 years in game, and now it's going to give us Phillies for the other half. I'm not complaining because we definitely need the Phillies. It's harder to find really good Phillies. So, um, this is from Electric Arrow and Frugal Lark. Oh, gosh. It's going to take me forever to open up the spreadsheet. Um, You know what? This is going to be dedicated to all the supporters in our community. We are going to call this lovely lady... Um... She's going to be like a complete representative of the HRG community. So I want that in her name. I just don't know what to call her. Um, like the HRG gal, that that seems like so cliche, doesn't it? HRG gal could just do that. Um, I don't know. Not really feeling it. I mean, we could do something with Electric Arrow in there. A HRG Arrow. Electric HRG. I think, I think HRG Arrow actually sounds... I think that flows better, right? Let's do HRG Arrow, actually. So she is a representative of all of us together. That's what I'm hoping, because she's from Electric Arrow, who is such an awesome dude. And Frugal Arc, I talk about her too much, and it probably annoys you guys. But, you know, that that's expected. HRG Arrow, there she is. I've never thought about naming a horse, you know, after our community. 
But I think that's well deserving, and you guys deserve that because of your support. I like how that looks. I hope it looks good. Hope I'm not just liking it just because it has HRG in it, but I'm happy to have that horse represent the community. Represent you guys mainly, because, of course, without you, I'm not doing this. Or I could be, and then I would just be doing it to, you know, to essentially a no audience, but you guys get it. I just appreciate the support. Ready for combat. Uh, why am I looking at these turf races? She's not a turf horse. She's not a turf horse. She's not a turf horse. Um... Let's go ahead and get her in the Marine Cup. Yeah, let's try her out in the Grade 3. I want to see how she handles that. Okay, so I'm going to be taking a quick break here, and then I'll be right back with you guys, and we'll continue rolling on. All right, we're back. Sometimes I have to do, like, a random sync in the middle of the episode because, like, for whatever reason, it's only with this game. The audio and video will just magically become unsynced. It's only with this game. It doesn't... Well, it happens kind of with 2001, Every Blue Moon, but it's, um... It's weird. 2004 is usually fine. I don't really have issues with that. I don't know why. It just happens. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, let's keep rolling on, shall we? King Lark, is he going to be a five-star dude? I'm not going to check, like, every two months, but I, I do want to see if he's getting to that point yet. No, nope, still four stars. Uh, we'll check maybe midsummer to see how he is. Between, like, July and August should be enough time. All right, here we go. Ready for combat in the Marine Cup. It's a grade three event here. Now she's just getting better odds. I haven't checked her stats really. I wonder if she's improving. It's a lot of horses that could finish like in the top five here. I'm not even gonna suspect where we're supposed to finish. Yeah, her stats have remained unchanged. 25 temper is not good at all. That's mainly, that's actually her only issue. If her temper was at least in the 40s, wouldn't be having the start problems. She'd have more wins, but maybe we can still start on that right now. That's the hope. Post position three. Oh, gosh. Something told me to wait, but this is what I mean, man. And then, like, I look. She can't even go faster than where she's going, and I understand. But it's like, I have to push her this hard to get her back up to the front. It's not ideal, man. It's not how I want to race her, and it's not ideal. I know I just said that twice, but, like, it, I'm putting emphasis on it. Like, look how hard I have to work this, this filly just to get her up to the front where she needs to be. And still, the horses are always just seeming to, like... I just wish they would race a little bit closer, because, like, they're always racing just spread apart enough to where they're kind of blocking a gap. It's like, can you guys not race a little bit closer, man? Now, fortunately, her stamina should be pretty good once she hits her peak. So I, I should be able to do this. It's just like, it's annoying. This is not fun to race her this way. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, my girl. Gotta go. Gotta go. I am trying my hardest right now. That bad start is always going to ruin us with her until that gets better. You see the difference in the race it makes. Like, she can't come back from behind. It, it, it's over. Oh, man. I could have kept pushing her, but just, like, it, it, it's the same thing. If we get a bad start, I just can't get her to the front in time because she wants to, like, kind of basically walk up there. Uh, third. Yeah. It wasn't going to happen, bro. That start ruins the race, and it's because she's a proceeder. Like... Sorry, like, why did the why did the game give her procedure light type? Give her mid or closer. Then these starts don't matter. It's so frustrating, man. I just I feel like it's kind of tarnishing a little bit of her potential and reputation because it's you know I got the perfect start that one race and then it, that was just a seemed like a perfect storm. I, getting that every time it's a little unrealistic. I'm not like some godsend at the game so that's not gonna happen but i don't know i'll just have to continue to try to figure it out i mean she's still not going to peak for a couple of years so we have time but like it's still frustrating to know that if i don't get a good start it probably ruins her race that's i think that would demotivate anybody but anyways one lady miracle she's up in the second cup gws turf time got a winner of the championship this year it's gonna be tough horses we have general dancer local swallow whatever velvet apollo but i mean 
Divine Steel, if these are the horses we're going to be running against, we can certainly beat them out. I'm not really concerned about them. I respect them, but I still think as long as I do what I need to do with One Lady Miracle and get her going at the right time, 3.3 furlongs, because I keep getting her going at like 3 furlongs and she has way more stamina. And uh, this is her championship to win, so let's try to do that for her, her four-year-old season. Make her our, will she be our first original filly to be a Hall a fall, uh, gosh, Eric, get it together. Hall of Fame horse. A fall la 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 horse. I, I, you know, we could just say that too, right? See, the, like, I just need the meter to be slower for ready for combat, man. I just need to get at least a good, and then we can work her towards the front from there. But, like, getting bad where, where she's missing the jump completely, I don't care how good of a horse you have, it's pretty much always going to ruin your, your case, especially if you have a, a proceeder. So, yeah. I'll have to work with it. Oh, my goodness. I don't really like how this is going, so I'm going to have to push it to the front, my girl. I was hoping to kind of... Is the rail open? Ooh, it is. Lesson learned, AI. Do not leave the AI... Op Do not leave the rail open for me. <laughs> oh, gosh. It really is that type of episode, isn't it? My goodness. I think it's open. I can't tell. Whoever that... That two horse looks like it's kind of blocking me. And I will be so cheesed. I can't tell. No, it, it, I think it's open. Slightly. Ever so slightly. I think it is. Now, I had to run her a little bit hard, but this is a much tougher field. Okay, we got to go now. I think it's open. Is it? Yes, it is. Let's go. I hope I didn't get her going too soon. Oh, she's got the stamina to make this last, doesn't she? Come on, my girl. For a long and a half. You got it. Oh, who is that closing in on us? No. Too soon. That's, uh, trying to see who it is. Divine Steel. Oh, man. She completely fell off. So that was not... Wow. <sighs> That's like... <sighs> huh. What happened there? Is it bad on this stretch run? Yeah, did I... <sighs> it's a terrible start to our GWS campaign. That... Now, from the top of my head, I'm thinking, okay, I needed... I lost whip. Oh, my goodness. Who cares, bro? Um, that's not a good start, man. I'm thinking there, like, the game wanted me to start her later. Like, that hasn't worked for her, her entire career. Now they want me to do that. Starting her earlier has always benefited her and her results. Every race, if I've started her earlier, it's benefited us. And if I started her too late, it, sometimes it wasn't terrible, but we didn't get the win. I didn't realize she was going to fall off that much. Um, that was only 10 furlongs, too. That wasn't even long. She really did not handle it well. Like, I don't think that was even a good representation of what she can do against those horses. She wasn't even competitive at the end. So that's... Oh, I hate races like that. You guys know it. I hate it. It's just one of those races where it's like, okay, like, that didn't even... That just didn't fall into the regular, you know... Um, the regular routine of what we've been doing with her. Like, that completely kind of sends me out of the loop. Because it's like, oh, clearly I would have benefited of benefited her by getting her started a little bit later. But... And she still had stamina in the end, too. But, like, her, that's so weird. Like she has the staying power to make that work. 75 for speed and staying. And... Yeah, she, like... I don't... Does she lose a head-to-head? -head? No, she has a decent gut. She has 81 guts rating. Yeah, that... That's one of those races where I'm just like, okay, that doesn't make sense to me. I understand probably what the game was saying I should have done, but it's like, well, I haven't ran her like that. And it's worked. You know what I mean? Like, that's when it becomes conflicting. When it's like the game is telling you to do something different than what you've been doing that's actually been working for you. <laughs> um, my favorite grade two. The Nagano on the dirt. 
Ah, uh, that's awful, man. That's awful, awful, awful. This is the struggle I go with with all of our original Phillies. It, I just feel like every time I'm trying to get them a GWS title, it's always some obstacle in the way. Ah, uh, man. Gotta redeem myself. But next GWS race, I think for her, is not going to be till like July. So that's... Darn it, man. That stinks. Really wish I could redo that, but, um... I need to see if making that adjustment will actually benefit her the next time out. We're supposed to finish third. We could have won that race. Wow. I actually... So it seems like the later I wait, the better I get starts with her. So I probably just need to do that. Wait till literally, like, the last second. Get your butt out of my face, please. Okay. See, she needs to get a good start, man. If she doesn't, her race is over. She's just not fast enough, and she's still green as grass, green as the trees, as you see right now. So she's not going to get to the front in time. Maybe once she starts showing more potential and her stats start to come in, we can actually um, be in a better position where even if she gets a bad start, she might be able to catch up a little bit better. I forgot what her braking rating is. I don't know if it's good or bad, but that also contributes... Okay, we need to get to the rail, my girl. We need to get to the rail, like, now. Okay. Oh, didn't mean to do that, but it happened. Okay. Now she has a nice trip here. What'd I just say, man? Her races are ruined if we don't get a good start. i just proving it. That That's... What, what, what more do you need? Good start. Good result. Possibly a revolution. Bad start. Race is ruined. Don't even run her. She wins the grade 2 Nagano. Just like that. Is it going to be like that with this girl for like a good port part portion of her career? There we go. Just shows you how fast my brain is working sometimes. I'm just trying to combine words all the time. That's a good win. That's a really, really good win. But... That's the thing. I know that's what she's capable of if she gets a good start. We're supposed to finish ninth. We finish first, you see? And an, almost another perfect race. So, that's probably going to be a lot of her races until maybe her temper gets better to the point where I'm not just missing it completely. Because, uh... <laughs> that's her second win, right? Yep. So two wins in the last three starts, it's good. Still trying to build. Stats are kind of improving. Breaking is 37. Yeah, it's just... I wish I could fast forward and see what her stats will actually be in two years. It's just kind of hard to see what her ceiling is going to be. I know they'll improve, but to such a point where it makes a drastic difference or just a little difference. That's what I'm curious about. Um... She has such a wide range, too. 7 to 15. My goodness. Don't even need 15 for these races on the dirt. Um, Let's do 9.5. I feel like she kind of does better with longer distances because it gives me more time to get her to the front in case the start isn't fantastic. If it's a short race, she doesn't. her braking is not good enough to propel her to the front as fast as I need to, especially if we don't get that perfect start. <sighs> so, um... Yeah. Pale Reef, Regal S, Mile Champ Cup. Title is what we're going for. We're the favorite. What's new? Let's do this, win it, and move on. I want to try to redeem myself with uh, One Lady Miracle in the GWS, so I would like to try to get a race done soon. Whatever... It's a race we win pretty frequently. Yeah. Um, you can just kind of stay behind these horses for now until I figure out what I want to do with you. Mm, this is actually okay. I think, for the time being, yeah. Like, is the rail open? No, it's not. Okay, I shouldn't have moved. Gosh dang it. Like, look at the gaps. They always leave these, like, barely open gaps. And sometimes the game doesn't even register that it's open. That's why, like, I get frustrated. Because it's like, there's nothing I can do. Now, fortunately, this is open. But it's tight. And I know it gets tight. I I've seen it. 
We've all seen it. But you just wouldn't want to deal with that all the time. It's like they're running on lane tracks. Oh, gosh dang it. Did not mean to buff that horse. But it's like, again, it just seems like the gaps are always so close with her. I'm not trying to bump these horses. You guys know that's not my racing style. But Pale Reef is such a monster, I don't think it really matters now, does it? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, goodbye. It looked like the five horse was coming on like the little um, tracker on the right, but like no, we were pulling away. 14th grade one win. Mile champ title, here we come. Kind of also makes me think I could run her in the GWS sprint. Maybe she's better for it now? Maybe I should try it. What do I have to lose? Because I'm not putting anybody else in it. There she is. Like I said, get this win, move on. Really want to win the GWS for One Lady Miracle. Her window will probably be closing in another year if I don't get it. For her four-year-old or five-year-old season. I feel like this is going to be her best year to get it. So we got to bounce back. But she's up in the Dublin Gold Cup. Fourth favorite behind Amusing Earth, Dancing Monster, and Opening Tap. Ten and a half furlongs. This is basically a half of a furlong longer than the second cup that we did not do well in for the GWS. Big monsters in this field as well. Stats are still improving, kind of. Power just went up again, but... This is just for a mid-champ title at some point, this ten and a half. But, again, according to the game, in that last race... Me starting her too sooner ruined the race. So let me try to hold her a bit longer and see if that benefits her in the run. If that's the case, then okay. Either way, it's jockey error. I just wish it was I just wish the game sometimes was more consistent with that. I just feel like it's random. Just sometimes it just seems like the game just really stacks the deck against you and it doesn't want you to win regardless. But you also have to make sure you're doing what you need to do with your horse, which in that case, um probably wasn't. Oh, no. There she goes. Stop, 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 stop. Nope. Don't move on the outside. Don't move on the outside. You stay right there. I don't think she wants to be this far up front, but, like, I don't have a choice. If I slow her down too much, she's not going to be happy about that. <sighs> but the, she's not complaining. Oh, it's a short field. She could actually benefit from this position, uh, positioning. Is it only nine horses in this field? Or No, ten. Okay. I was wondering why that wasn't popping up yet, but yeah, we can actually run her up here. I feel like this will probably be a win for us as long as I don't do anything stupid. Okay. Gosh, they move in such weird ways, but that's fine. I'm going to hold her. Now let's go. Uh, let's see if this is a better run for her at all. I held her a lot there. Her sting drops pretty quickly. She doesn't keep up her top speed as long as I wanted. So, better race, but not the win. She's closing, she's closing, but... It's literally going to be where we're supposed to finish. Fourth or third? Third. She gets on the podium, but... The win was not really in, in question. And not even a terrible eval. Like, <laughs> huh. What is going on with One Lady Miracle? I mean, that's a good result, but like... She beat tougher horses in her other three grade one wins. So I'm just kind of like, what's happening? I'm sure, it's part of that is my input. Last month of preparation, blah, 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 blah. Let's see how America's Dream turned out. It's really bumming me with her, man. But let's see. America's Dream is from um, Social Brandy and Frugal Lark. No have sustained growth type. 8 to 12 furlongs. Great on the turf. Okay on the dirt. So that's good. Flexibility. Proceeder. Not a bad temper. In fact, his stats are actually pretty consistent. Breaking is the only... That's the worst. Everything else is... Everything else is... Look at this. It's actually decent. All from Entrust Training. But kind of... I think I said this when I bred Frugal and... Um, social brandy together. I'm like, they're going to give us a solid horse with solid stats across the board. No bad temper rating. Social brandy helped out a lot there, fortunately. 
This dude's speed is already at 68, and with his growth height, this is fantastic for America's Dream. I wonder if he'll be a 90 speed horse. This is awesome. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Yeah, I think we did great. I think considering where he should be in a couple of years, that is fantastic. And he's already C-ranked, yeah. The others started off as E. The other two Phillies. America's Dream. Great, great start, it looks like, so far. So let's go ahead and make sure we get him in his first race here in this episode. Lady Miracle, what is going on with you? I do not understand. I mean, we haven't won with her in a while, but still, like... Hmm. 10 to 14 on the turf? Like, putting her in the ideal race that she needs to be in. When's the next GWS, man? The Diamond Cup? I kind of want to save her for that. I, I gotta bounce back somehow. Could she need another year to develop? Seriously? I mean, that speed and staying, that's not great at 75. Like, if that's as fast as she gets, that will make things a bit challenging. I'm expecting those stats to still grow, but what if it doesn't? What if, what if that is her at her best? I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I just need to be patient. Sometimes I just want to win immediately, and it's like, you know what? See what's, see what's going to play out. Either she's still developing or, you know, that's the best she'll be with maybe her power rating slightly increasing. I'm going to go ahead and throw a pale reef in the summer sprint. Why? Well, it might as well. She ran that mile really good. Dropping her two furlongs might be a different story, obviously, but we'll see. <sighs> okay. Um, let me do a quick save. It's been a couple of months. Four more races. I think we'll go ahead and knock these out. I'll include a GWS and then the debut of our newest two-year-old, America's Dream. Now we'll see how the Philly, the newest Philly, is developing HRG Arrow at the end of the episode. So it's been one of those roller coaster type of days, hasn't it? But um, that's kind of expected. Pale Reef is the only horse that's like in top form condition. The other girls are still developing. So and this is pretty much on schedule, more or less. <laughs> Ready for combat. Up in the grade three Miyajima. Stakes here. Nine and a half furlongs. Good conditions. Her odds are looking a lot better. Major Cyclone, the favorite. Is that horse a gray? Because it would be awesome if that horse resembled Cyclone from uh, Ready to Run, but probably not. I don't think it is. <sighs> I waited, and it still didn't work. It's just, it's it's hit or miss, man. I just, I can't get that perfect consistency. Now, fortunately, again, with a longer race, this allows me to get up to the front more. I could actually run her full speed. I never was able to do that prior. Now, that's that's good to know. You saw her, this, her speed meter never reached outside this blue bar. That was the first time I could, I could actually push it all the way to, like, the limit. If I could do that more often, then the bad starts wouldn't be super, super detrimental. It's just, like, when I try to push her to the front after a bad start, she only runs at, like, 75 to 80% speed. And it's like, that's not fast enough to get to the front, my girl. <laughs> so even with the bad start, I was able to get her to the front. That's all I need to do. She is, she is not a type of horse to come back. Like She has to be in her position at the front. Otherwise, she kind of just throws in the towel. So yeah, she's definitely a spoiled girl for sure, but that's kind of been the, the theme for a lot of our originals in this game. I forgot, we gotta go now. I'm like, why is everybody going? Yeah, I forgot. Hey, okay, she's working. Working really hard. Working really hard. She's looking good, though. See, she just needs to be at the front to be competitive. That's literally it. Now, that's a great run from that horse. Furlong. Ah, she's dropping, though. She's dropping, and that's going to be it. Yeah. I tried my best. She showed some heart there, but it's not going to be top five like it was looking. Would she have benefited if I saved her a little bit longer? She probably would have. I tried to get going because everybody else, but, um, yeah, not good on the stretch. That's on me. She um she was actually comfortable, and she was in the position to have a great run. I totally messed that up. So it's the growing pains with these horses, um, these longer growth types. 
from Crimson. I said it earlier in the episode. It was the same way with Honey Bee and Perfect Dart. I just got to find that rhythm. As soon as I do, you guys will... You, we, you've seen it happen. You see the switch turn on as soon as I find it. It's okay, my girl. We have a long time. Yeah. She's going to have a similar profile probably to Honey Bee and Perfect Dart. Hopefully stronger and hopefully Hall of Fame bound, at least for the dirt. Um, runner in another race? Tokyo Derby. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just see what you got. No pressure. If we do bad, then it's like, okay. No expectations. So, um, These will be the last races of the episode. Don't really care about classifications. Like, whatever. Um, Pale Reap is the only one that's even going to be up there, I think. Currently. <sighs> okay, Tokyo Derby with Ready for Combat again. Pretty much the same field you ran against in the last two races, and she still has decent odds. That's And this is with her stats at this level, people. Like, this is not good right now. I'm confident that once she really starts to show a couple of these stats, at least in the 70s, yes, we will have a much easier time being able to, you know, kind of string together some wins and some good results. But, like, this is like E-ranked territory. The response rating is the only good thing, obviously, and not, you know. Hmm. Like I said, her top four stats, they'll be good once, you know, she hits her peak. I mean, I don't think power will hit 70. I'd be surprised if it did, but... Speed should... I'm hoping speed hits 80, but we'll see. That's, she still has a little ways to go. Man. Maybe I need to hold her a little bit longer too. Keep forgetting these girls are not pale reef. I can start her whenever I do. Wow, that's annoying. <laughs> I was literally gonna press it there and then I just took too long, but um look, we're able to run her at max almost to max speed. So that shows that she is improving more. That that's good. Now I just need to time the spark uh the start. And her spurt better, and we can actually be in a position to have a good result. Hopefully. Okay, I need us to punch through my girl. Gosh dang it. I don't mean to bump these horses. I'm just kind of like being lazy about it today. So that's my fault. Uh, yeah, so we need to get you up there a little bit more. I feel like the pace is kind of fast. I guess we'll see at the end of the race. Okay. Well, she's in position. Like I said, me being able to run her past her minimal speed now is helping a lot, even with the bad starts. <sighs> yeah, I got her going back here on that last race, and that probably was a little bit too tough for her, so maybe I should save her a little bit. Hopefully. Stamina still looks like it's dropping quite a bit. And now we can go. Now we can go... Let's see if she can make a run here, and ah, it's feeling like she's going backwards. Nope. She's actually hit. Actually, she's hanging pretty strong. She's top four right now, but ah, I'm over whipping. I completely looked away from my screen, and gosh, I don't even know if she held on to fourth. Probably not. She did somehow. Wow. Totally botched that in the stretch. And they gave me S for that? I feel like I... This is what I mean. Sometimes I just... I don't know. I just feel like the game's grading and what I think I did are just not on the same page. Whether I think I did better or worse. In that case, I felt like I did worse. And the game's like, ah, oh, you almost nailed it. <laughs> I overwhipped. Like, several times. I literally looked away for a second and I don't even know why. I don't know why. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, that's a good result there. I mean, it's two spots better than where she was supposed to finish, but, you know. Oh, the growing pains are real with this one, isn't it? <laughs> but I think it'll be worth it. I think she'll be a very fun dirt horse once I can really get in that rhythm and her stats start to improve. So until then, it's more or less just going to be this type of um, this type of running with her. I can't really do much more than that. Her stats aren't there for it. So she'll be in a race next time out. As far as the next episode, let's 
knock out these last three. See if we can try to end on a more positive note there. And granted, that wasn't bad. I, I can't believe she actually held on there. So that, that's actually really good. I think that's a testament actually to her more so. Because I really felt like I butchered that. Pale Reefs in the summer sprint. Not the favorite. Again, she's not a sprinter. So we'll see how this works. But she has a chance to win it. I'm not sure how to run her in this type of race, though. Because it's much shorter than where I usually run her. So... Oh, let's see. Not a good start, but she doesn't need it. I mean, I know she's not the fastest in the game. I mean, I, that's not what I'm saying. I know she's not the fastest, at least in this field. So, can't expect her to have some mad dash type of sprint, but we'll see. She has a lot of stamina left. I might be able to really make this work, actually. Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh, no. She's got this in the bag, doesn't she? Yep. Hmm, don't know why I wasn't putting her in sprints beforehand, but okay. We have some late closers, but it's too late. Pell Reef, another win. Haven't lost with her. That's why I said this this episode has been a roller coaster because we haven't lost a race with her. But everybody else, it's been kind of up and down. <laughs> oh, Pell Reef is just she's something else, man. That's I think fifteen, fifteen grade one wins. She is just on a roll. Apparently she can run the sprints. I don't know why I didn't put her in them, or maybe I just never tried. Whatever the case. I guess I never tried. I put her in the mile a couple of times, but not anything this short. It wasn't even the favorite. Not like it matters. And it keeps my sanity for the day. <laughs> Pell Reef can still win. Whether I run her short or long, she can just... I guess win anywhere, really. Amazing horse. Oh, One Lady Miracle, gotta get you some points, my girl. I really do. Wonder Whale, Vast Delight, Flying Fan, of course. Like, Wonder Whale's in the GWS every year in this game, bro. Like, does that horse retire? Or does he just have, like, the fountain of youth of horses? <laughs> I just feel like he doesn't miss a year of the GWS dirt in this game. Have you guys noticed that in my playthrough? He, like, never misses, man. It's like, oh yeah, Wonder Whale, Wonder Whale. Every year. It's like my guy. <laughs> I mean, it's great for the competition. I'm not complaining. It's just like it's just funny. I just feel like he never has like a day off, a year off. I just feel like I can't remember one year where he wasn't in the GWS dirt. It's just like it's probably like as soon as he the game retires him, they put him right back in, right? That's what it seems like it's doing. Maybe he misses one year tops. America's Dream, our two-year-old Colt, he is ready to make his debut here today. Good odds. Not expected to win, but we have a chance. We should be finishing in the money. Let's see how his stats are looking. Now, he's already about to be 70 speed as a two-year-old. That's pretty good for us in this game. His worst status is breaking. Close race, okay. That's fantastic. And, um, of course, I had to give him the patriotic get-up there because he's named America's Dream, after all. I'm excited for this dude, man. Let's rock and roll, boy. Let's rock and roll. I don't know how I missed that. My gosh. I think I over, I over, overestimated that one. But it's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll get to the front, I hope. I hope. Okay, good. Just making sure. Making sure he can kind of get to the front with a sense of urgency. And he can. Not a good breaking, but he does get to the front pretty quick. So that's actually good. But that's expected. Okay. He can just keep running like here. I don't think I have to do anything else yet. He's got plenty of stamina. Now we can go. Run away with it. Aw, oh, short spurt, isn't it? Five is closing. Did I start too soon? Maybe I did. Aw, oh, seven is closing like a bat out of you know what. Here comes the two. He's going to hold on and break his maiden. Wow, okay. Hold him a little bit longer. Hold him a little bit longer. That's a great first win, but still, you could 
feel him dropping off at the end. America's Dream gets his maiden. That's fantastic. Let's go. So hold him a little bit longer. And I kind of thought about that too. I'm like, you know what? I should probably hold him. But I wanted to see what would happen if we get him an early jump. You guys know I do that a lot of the time with our newest horses. I want to see what they're capable of doing and what they're probably not capable of doing. I only gave us an S for the stretch because we won. If we would have lost, that would probably be what a B. Field was double S, which is perfect. It's a good first win, man. I feel good. That's just got to get better starts. His temper's not even bad. I have to do better, but that's great. I'm happy with that. Like I said, I'll try to hold him a little bit more next time because he has the speed, I think, to make up that space. So hopefully I, I don't have to. Good health as well. Gosh, this is, oh, man. This guy's going to be so fun. America's Dream from Social Brandy and Frugal Lark. Um... Let's get him in a. Uh, let's get him in a seven furlong. I mean, clearly he's a miler, but if he's strong enough at his peak, he should be able to run the sprints. One lady miracle, last race, the Diamond Cup, twelve furlongs. The test of tests. Either I will do well or I won't. But obviously, the goal is to do better. We get a rematch against most of the horses we lost against the first time out. She's going to have decent odds. And uh, power might actually hit 90. So, yeah, she's still developing, actually. Just very slowly now. Very slowly. Okay. Hold her a little bit more. Because she has a good guts rating. She's not going to get demotivated. But if I get her going too soon, that could potentially ruin her race. So... Diamond Cup, GWS chance again. Ah, terrible. If I'm like overthinking it, I'm kind of glad this is the last race. Because <laughs> I am not on the money right now with the starts. This is one of those nights. I had, what, two good ones? As far as perfects and everything else has been kind of... Relax, I'm just trying to get her in a good window here. And also, she did have to make up a lot of ground in that first GWS race in Hong Kong. So maybe if I actually hold her towards the back a little bit. Keep her, you know, in range. Not completely out of the race, but... I had to work her quite hard because I didn't like where she was. And the field was really spread out in that race. We were spread out by what seemed like, you know, way more than this. Like, there were horses way back there. And then there was front runners where, you know, the nine horses. It was, it was kind of a mess. I don't think the pace really suited us there. Now, she has fast pace okay, but she wasn't where she needed to be, so. I don't want her to be working herself too hard, so I'm going to keep her here. Wait till... I probably actually need to get her right here. Ah, that was going to happen, that's fine. Okay, just get ready to strike. That's all. Be patient. Be patient. Okay, now we can go. I was going to say, I don't know what's going to free up. Let's go. Oh, look at this. This is a much better run. Now let's see if she can close in. Come on. We need an ability soon. Stretch burst, I think, we'll get, hopefully. Ah, 12 is taking off on us. Stretch burst, are we going to get it? Uh, no. Yeah, she needed to be a little bit closer. Better effort today, but she's still not up there. And maybe I could have ran her a little bit more in the middle to keep her closer. Still think she needs a bit more speed, though. These horses are definitely faster than her. So, and that's only one spot higher, but... Yeah. Still didn't feel quite where I think she needed to be, but... um, As long as she's still developing, I feel a little bit better. If she already peaked, I'd be worried. But if she's still developing, maybe she'll still continue this trajectory into her five-year-old season. And we'll still, of course, have one more year. Of course, I'm still going to try to win it this year, but it's it's a grind. And she's she's only nine points down from the top, so this is this is still wide open. There's plenty of races left, so we still have a chance. No need to panic. Just gotta continue to work at it, guys. That's gonna do it though for this episode. Appreciate love and support on the channel. Again, let me know what time and day will work on the weekend for the 2004 live stream. Uh, let me know again the day, Saturday or Sunday, and the time, evening, morning, and just state whatever time that would be. 
for you in your time zone and I'll look it up and do the conversion myself and we'll figure it out and I will let you guys know once uh, you leave your comments so please do because otherwise I'm not really going to know what time to do it and I want as many of you there as possible so I appreciate you guys for love and support until next time Horse Racing Gamer signing out I'll be a great fantastic day we'll see you later and goodbye